it's a weight that you're carrying and after some time it begins to to smell it begins to hurt you hello and welcome back to everything matters with tari i'm here to give you lifestyle advice and tips to help you live your dreams achieve your goals and become the best version of yourself now if you're new to this channel please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button on your right hand side turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified every time i upload a new video now in today's video we're going to be talking about the power of forgiveness and yes there is power in forgiveness now i know that saying okay forgive is easier said than done for some people especially if you've been hurt by someone you really love or someone you trusted or you've been betrayed it can be really really hard to forgive but it's important to know that there is power in forgiveness it's power when you decide to let go of every form of offense every form of offense in your heart every form of hurt and pain and actually let go and forgive that person before I go on, I would like to point out that forgiveness is a gift, okay? It's a gift that you give to yourself. So it's about you and not about the person. When you decide to forgive, because say for instance, you're offended by someone, the person might not even know that they've offended you in any way. So you are carrying that offense in your heart while that person is walking about free. So it's a gift you give to yourself when you decide to forgive and it's all about you taking that guilt away from your heart it frees you from every form of negativity it frees you from anger and it frees you from every form of waste that you're carrying there was an, an analogy i don't know why i can pronounce that word the first time an analogy that i heard about a story i heard about about some a, a teacher that was trying to do an experiment with his with his pupils and he gave them a number of mangoes to put in their bag so they put the mangoes in their bag and carried it on their shoulder to school at home they carried it for a couple of days the first day the, the weight was heavy and a couple of days later i think about after about seven days it was heavy and the mangoes were rotten and it was smelly that's the analogy that he gave us unforgiveness so it's a weight that you're carrying and after some time it begins to to smell it begins to hurt you okay so you don't want to carry that weight on your shoulder so that's the reason why you need to forgive and i'm not just saying forgive because you've been asked to forgive or because you are expected to forgive because that is not genuine forgiveness in itself but there are ways that you can actually help yourself to forgive because i know that like i said before it's not always easy to forgive. So one thing you can do is to just tell yourself, you know what, I don't want to carry any offense in my heart. So be willing to forgive. Be willing to forgive because you don't have any, you don't want to have any offense in your heart. So what you do is you make excuses for people. You forgive offenses before they even happen, okay? Because we're not perfect, okay? We're humans. And because we live in a world together, we are bound to step on each other's toes. So people would always offend you. You don't want to keep carrying those offenses about. So just make up your mind. It's okay. You know what? I'm willing to forgive. And it, it gives you a very light heart. It fills you with positivity when you are able to let go of offenses so easily. But having said that, I know that it's not easy. Like I said, especially if you've been hurt by someone you trust, if you've been betrayed, it is more difficult. And that might need more work in terms of forgiveness. But the first thing is to be willing to forgive. Okay, another thing you want to do is to discuss the offense. Okay, so if someone offends you, don't just sweep it under the carpet. Don't just like suppress your feelings. You want to call the person out and say, okay, you know what? You did this or you said this, I'm not happy about it. So instead of holding a grudge in your heart, you actually want to talk about it. And then once you've talked about it, maybe the person wasn't even aware they've offended you. That gives them an opportunity to say, okay, you know what? I'm sorry I did this or I'm sorry I said that. And that should be resolved. Third thing you can do to help yourself forgive is to see things from people's perspective because someone might be doing something because they think it's right but to you it's not right okay they might say things because that's how they know how to say things but to you it might be something that's offensive so what you want to do is to see things from people's perspective don't always say you are right because sometimes you might not be right okay and the fourth thing you want to do is to empathize which lies and ties closely with my the point i've just mentioned so you want to empathize see yourself in people's shoes put yourself in people's shoes try to understand what they are going through and what they are feeling because 
some people do things because they are stressed or because they are offended or because maybe something is happening in their lives okay so that's why they might react the way they do okay so you want to be able to empathize with people okay and the fi fifth and final thing i'm going to talk about today is to seek help and like i said before especially when it's someone that's close to you someone that you love or someone that's your friend or your family member when you're betrayed by someone you trust it's more difficult to forgive and in that case you want to seek help okay so you want to seek help so it might mean that you need to speak to someone about how you're feeling okay for someone that's a christian for someone like me i remember having been hurt by someone in the past and i tried i knew i had to forgive i knew i wanted to forgive but it was so hard because the person was really close to me and what i did was to go down on my knees and pray to god for help i prayed to god to help me and to forgive that person and eventually i was able to let go of that hurt and pain okay so you want to seek help so you can either go on your knees and pray if you're a christian if you're a muslim or you can seek help from a counselor to help you to forgive because we know that unforgiveness is like a weight on your shoulder that you don't want to carry okay there's so many negative that comes out when you when you carry this carry on forgiveness when you carry offenses in your heart there's so many things that could happen to you it affects us in so many ways it affects our our physical health our mental health in so many ways so we don't want to carry um, unforgiveness around. Okay, I'm going to go into in details in my next video, which will be coming up next week. But I thought I'll bring this first before we talk about um how to how unforgiveness actually affects us. But I hope this video is helpful. I hope it helps someone. If it has, give this video a thumbs up, like and share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and if you like to support my channel if you just want to support my channel on youtube and um, or if you want a one-to-one -one consultation on how to be the best version of yourself or relationship issues then check out my pegs join my membership and that's one way that you can support me but thank you so so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in my next video